A young man walks beside a girl across a flowered field. Spring has come, and this girl is his life. He prays. A child climbs a tree to watch the sunset over the fields. Summer is ending, and the harvest is life for his village. He prays. A hunter tracks a boar through the woods. Winter is coming, and this boar is life for his family. He prays. But to whom do they pray? The world has as many answers as there are men to answer. But walk far enough, climb high enough, hunt long enough, and a man shall find only one. One God, with many faces. In the faith of the seven, he is the stranger who guides men from this life to the next. Few seek his favor, or at least, few realize that they do. In the north of Westeros, he is one of the nameless old gods, staring out from the weirwood trees and the snow. In the Iron Islands, he is the drowned god, calling men down to his watery hall. What is dead may never die, but rises again, harder and stronger. In the Far East, he is the Lion of Night, who fathered the world's first emperor on the Maiden Made of Light, and whose wrath nearly ended the world. In Volantis, he is the Lord of Light, whose followers feed men to the flames to beg his favor. In Lys, he is the weeping lady who sheds her tears for the living, soon to die. In Kohor, he is the black goat, and he feeds on blood offerings every day. On holy days, he is offered condemned criminals, and in times of great crisis, he may even be offered the nobles' children of the city to beg his protection. Does he accept their gift? Well, the city still stands. For the poor, he is the hooded wayfarer. For soldiers, he is Bacalon, the pale child. For sailors, he is the moon pale maiden and the Merlin king. In the house of black and white, however, he is all of them, and none of them. He is the many-faced god, and wherever a man turns, there he is. Men come from every corner of the world to know him, to beg his favor and seek his gift for themselves, if their life has grown too hard, or for others who are making it so. It is all the same to the many-faced god. While Adohiris, all men must serve him, beggars and kings. While Amorgulis, all men must die, good and evil. Men worship as they will, but at the end of every road stands the many-faced god, waiting.